there are two stages in the Cnidarian life cycle. Polyps are stationary cylindrical animals which attach to the substrate at one end of their body and at the other end possess a mouth surrounded by tentacles. There is also a free-swimming medusa stage where the medusa is a bowl-shaped animal which possesses a central mouth and a ring of tentacles. Polyps can exist singly or as part of a much larger colony. While many cnidarians possess both polyp and medusa stages of their life cycle, some cnidarians, such as hydra, only exist in the polyp stage, while some jellyfish only have the medusa stage. In animals which have a medusa stage, it is the medusa phase which undergoes meiosis and forms the sex cells. Unlike sponges, which can make sex cells anywhere in their body, cnidarians and all higher animals possess gonads. It was the cnidarians which first evolved gonads, concentrated areas where meiosis occurs and sex cells are produced. Cnidarians are typically either male or female, or in some cases, they can produce both types of gametes, but just not at the same time to avoid fertilizing themselves. As in higher animals, the sperm are small and flagellated, the ova are large and non-modal. When sperm and ova fuse, they form a ciliated planula larva, which can swim and then attach to the substrate to form a sessile polyp. Cnidarians are also capable of undergoing asexual reproduction, as seen here in the budding of one hydropolyp from its parent hydropolyp. In some, large colonies can be formed from individuals which have reproduced asexually and can remain attached to each other and to a mass of colonial tissue which they synthesize. In these images, the cnidarian obelia is depicted, which possesses both a polyp and medusa stage. These are the individual polyps, or hydrants, of a colony. These are the feeding polyps, or gastrozooids, which produce asexually along the colony branches. In addition, however, the colony can produce gonozooids, from which medusa will be produced. These medusa, male and female, are then free-swimming, and it is they that will produce the sperm and ova, which produce the planula larva. 